Hey guys, Tom with BuyMeAnIPhone.com back at you today. And today we're going to be taking a look at a uh, really a case system. Okay, this is from BodyDoc, the cell phone armor. Okay, a really cool box. This box doesn't typically come with the um, with the case and the accessories. This is a uh, press box. So as you can see, this is a media kit, not for resale. Body Doc's website, it's www.bodydoc.com and their phone number. And you, like I said, you can check this out at www.bodydoc.com. So uh, let's kind of break open this press kit. We checked this out at, um, at Macworld and we have the uh, case itself. And we're just gonna take all this stuff out of the box. We have a lanyard, we have a base, and we have a uh, one person docking mount accessory here. So we're gonna put this big box aside here. Now, there are numerous accessories that come with this, guys. I guess the major point would be the case. Now, the case is called the Black Rhino Armor Case, and it comes in two colors. It comes in black and white, and includes uh, two ceramic all-around magnets, which are, uh, I believe, these right here. And um, it retails for $49. Now, um, Let's kind of go over the case real quick and we'll kind of give you some details on this and then we'll get into pretty much everything else. Just to show you what else it comes with uh, inside the box. It comes with the instructions. It comes with a screen shield, a microfiber, a squeegee card, and pretty much all the instructions and all the details about this system. Okay, so there's the fabric sweet spot, the all around sweet spot, the extreme sweet spot, so on and so forth. But what we're going to do is we're going to talk about these individually. And uh, here is the case, and it is a kind of snapback style case. Um, it is a durable rubberized case uh, with a polycarbonate aspect to it. And it's a kind of a neat design, except for one part that I'm really not down with. And uh, you may be able to guess it. It is this mirror here. Now this is the metal part where the magnets attach to but the uh, kind of mirrored aspect kind of ruins it for me a little bit. I'm not down into the mirrored part of that. Um, but anyway, it's got this uh, rubberized grip here. It's over a white polycarbonate and uh, the buttons and, uh, oh, and it's also got this uh, stand. So it does have a built-in stand. So let's get the phone in the case itself and let's go over that. Okay. Very simply, as usual, you put your buttons in first, and then it is a little bit tough to get it in there, and then you kind of work it in there and you get the rest of the phone. Now this does add a considerable amount of bulk um, on the width-wise. It just seems like it's a little bit thicker. Now if you measure it out, it's probably not much thicker, um, but it does feel a little bit thicker because of the style. So let's go over the case. As you can see, it's kind of a snapback design. On the top, your everything's gonna be fairly open. You're gonna have your uh, sleep-wake button, your headphone jack, and your secondary mic. You might have a problem with some of the bigger um, headphone jacks um, because uh, the case does go almost right up to the hole there. On the bottom, everything's open, no problems there. On the left hand side, your buttons are covered. Okay, they are uh, pretty tactile. Um, it does take a little bit to press it there. This does uh, work with the 4 and the 4S. So you have your vibrate button, but um, that is really close. The vibrate button is really close to the edge here on the 4S. I wish that was a little bit bigger opening there. Okay, and again, um, it's got all this uh, rubber and polycarbonate around. Now, it's a very durable case, guys. Um, it does protect your phone quite well. Um, I saw this thrown like across the floor at Macworld, um, and it does stand quite nicely. So it does give you a nice kind of th uh, stand there. Although, if you're on an airplane or something and it's wiggling a little bit, see how it kind of falls over? So if you're on a stable area, you're gonna be okay. But if you get a little bit of wiggle, maybe a little bit of turbulence, it's gonna fall over. So I wish that um, that was a little bit better design there. Hey, oh, on the back, finally, uh, your camera hole. Your camera hole has a separate cutout, and I'm not sure if you can see it. That's probably a better angle. It has a separate cutout for both your camera lens and your flash. Um, now, I did have some flash bounce back, not a lot, and I'm not sure if that was uh, contributed 
to the uh, double kind of cutout if that helped it or hurt it or whatever. The jury's still out on that one. So the basis behind this, guys, is this back plate right here. This is a metal metal back plate, and we have the uh, fixed location docking accessory uh, back base. So let's kind of take this out. Hey, and this is a uh, two-piece ceramic uh, magnet base. Here is the um, uh, one part of the base, and here is the second base. Now. This one is going to go up on your mounting plate, okay, so maybe it's in the car, maybe it's in the garage, whatever, and it is going to stick right there for you on your phone. Then you've got this sweet spot body dock here, so that's another mounting plate there, and it does have the instructions here, so if you can't figure this out, because quite honestly, guys, there's a lot of these in here, and uh, it kind of gets a little confusing. So it's got two alcohol pads in there, and then it has kind of the same instructions. So this is the uh, all around sweet spot, I think. This is the docking base, um, which is here. So you can put it on kitchen, refrigerator, bedroom, headboard, whatever. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the sweet spot and you're gonna put it up on, say, a refrigerator, say, um, whatever it is, maybe your toolbox, and then you'll always have the sweet spot there to be able to dock it to. Okay, also here, there's another dock right here, and you'll be able to put it there. This magnet is really strong, guys, and it does come with this uh, really uh, strong uh, adhesive here, so it's not gonna be a problem with it falling off anything. Okay, um, kind of a, a neat design. It is a little bit different, okay, but again, and we'll put those aside, um, I just wish that that silver, that mirror, was not mirrored. I wish it was a different color. So you've got kind of these sweet spot, all around sweet spots here. Um, the docking station, you can put them in your vehicle, <clears throat> in your office, pretty much whatever. Okay, now let's move over to the uh, one person docking mount accessory. So um, this is the magnetic docking system, perfect for hands-free operation, so on and so forth. Now you can use this as, um, you know, through your clothing, so you can put the uh, docking station, say there, okay, and then you put this on, on the other side of your shirt and it'll kind of stick to it. I'm not sure if I would use that, uh, but it is a neat concept, uh, that's for sure. So you, there's a number of different ways that you can use this. So um, I'm not sure I would ever use that. Um, I really couldn't think of a lot of uh, applications that I would use it but again uh, what is this is, is designed to do is you put the sweet spot on your phone or you know let's take that one off put this sweet spot on your phone whatever it may be and then you'll you're able to kind of dock it there so another kind of magnet system you're able to use kind of through your clothing or whatever so let's take that off as you can see these magnets are super strong guys and then the last accessory in the kit here is the lanyard. So we have the uh, lanyard here, and uh, I think there, where is the, uh, the lanyard accessory? Oh, here is the hole here for the lanyard. So you're able to put this through the hole. I'm not a big lanyard guy, and you're able to use it there. Now I'm not quite sure exactly what this clip is for. Maybe it's for keys or something but uh, there's the lanyard. Um, I really didn't use this. I'm not really sure how this kind of works around with everything, but there's a couple different lanyard sets here, guys. Um, there is the uh, quick release lanyard, and then there's this lanyard here. Um, again, not really sure how I would use that. So let me give you some pricing, and let's put all this back into the, into the frame here, get some boxes out of the way. Here's one of the lanyards. Here is uh, a uh, one-person docking accessory mount. Here is the uh, all-around mount. And we're gonna run down some pricing. So again, what I mentioned is this is the Black Rhino. This comes in either black or white. Okay, this is, uh, I guess, black on white and it comes in all black. And it comes with two of these ceramic magnets here. And that goes for $49. The fabric sweet spot, which I believe is this here, yeah, that's the fabric sweet spot. So you're able to put it on your clothing, you know, one magnet on one side of your shirt, the other magnet on the other. 
that runs for uh, $19.95 for this one here. The all around sweet spot three pack. So these comes in a th in a three pack for um, $9.95. The extreme sweet pack is, I guess, a uh, a uh, really, really, really strong uh, docking system, and uh, I don't have that variety here. Uh, but the Extreme Sweet two pack is 19.95, and the two pack of uh, of tethers are the uh, the lanyards here are 9.95, and then they have a silver edition, which is a bunch of these things. Um, that goes for $79.95. So if you're interested in this, guys, um, go check it out. It's www.bodydoc.com. Um, again, it is really, um, it, it's going to be a niche product for you. You're either going to love this case or you're going to hate it. Um, I'm really not sure yet. The jury is still out for me. Again, I like all the kind of magnet accessories and the ability to mount this in different places and the ability to buy a lot of different magnets that I could put different places uh, at an affordable price. But, um, you know, the uh, rubberized uh, sides of the case were a little bit hard to get in and out of my pocket. Uh, I, I tell you, this kind of mirrored aspect kind of ruins it for me. It's just a little too glitzy for me. And uh, last thing is, I wish this, um, this stand was uh, engineered a little bit better. I mean, you can see, say you're on an airplane. I mean, it's just a little flimsy there for me. And when you, anytime you hit it, unless you hit it right there, if you're using this for anything that you got to touch, it's going to fall right over. So, um... I'm kind of in the middle on this, guys. I like the concept. I like the case as protective case, um, but there are some things that I would change about it. And as you can see, this uh, piece right here in the middle, it gets fingerprinted up pretty good. So uh, I would change uh, this metal here. I would change it and make it a little bit easier to get in and out of the pocket. I would probably cut down on some of the accessories to kind of make it a little bit more streamlined. I would definitely change this... Um, this uh, stand aspect here, but on the good side, it is an ultra protective case um, and it is really, really rugged, And but it is at a premium price. So I'm kind of in the middle on this one, guys, uh, right down the middle on it. I loved it when I saw it, when I really put it into some practical purposes, um, kind of right down the middle, some good, some bad. I really want to know what you guys think of this. So uh, leave some comments down in the comment section below. If you've used this case and this system, let me know what you think because I'd really like to get your opinions on this too. So uh, like I said, you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. And I'm not sure where I am on this yet. So if you have any questions on this, uh, shoot me an email. Again, go to bodydoc.com. Uh, you can shoot me an email at Tom Moshe. That's T-O-M-M-O-C-C-I-A at buymeaniphone.com. Follow us on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash buymeaniphone. If you want to follow me personally, it's twitter.com slash nerf squeezer and uh, as always guys thanks for watching uh again i really want your impressions on this tell me what you guys think uh, so thanks for watching as always you guys have a great day until the next video remember tell the ones you love you love them today and uh you guys have a great day thanks for watching